What is up, Pepe Army? Welcome back to my crypto journey. Of course, my name is Roddy. Do me a favor and smash the like button. If you're ignoring all the haters, the doubters, and pretty much all the people who are dogpiling on Pepe and other cryptocurrency projects just because we're having a red day. Also smash that like button if you understand that this is just part of the game. And let me know in the comments down below, what are you doing? I'm interested to hear, are you buying, are you selling, or are you hodling? I'm dollar cost averaging, so I'm buying all my favorite cryptocurrency products that I believe in because I believe in the future of cryptocurrency and I believe those products are gonna be successful in the future. And guys, you gotta watch this video all the way to the end because I'm gonna be giving you some pretty important evidence, in my opinion, that it pretty much points to the market going absolutely crazy and us rallying very, very soon. And I believe that when the cryptocurrency market starts to rally, Pepe is going to smash through all time highs. Of course, subscribe to my channel if you like being here and if you want daily Pepe content. I'm going to be making at least one video a day for Pepe. So if you want to be in the loop on all the Pepe news, subscribe to the channel if you like being here. So let's get into the video and look at this. Check this out. Check this out. What is this? It's a bloodbath, blood red day in cryptocurrency, but not only in cryptocurrency, and this has to do with a lot of what's going on, but we have the S&P 500 down significantly today. We have the Dow Jones down. So the overall stock market is pulling back the cryptocurrency market with it. Okay, so what happens when the cryptocurrency market takes a dump? Because you can see right here, the entire cryptocurrency market is down 2% on the day. Well, and you see right here too, yeah, Ethereum's down 3%, right? And then we have Bitcoin down 3%. What happens to the more established cryptocurrency meme coins and altcoins? They tend to dump at a faster pace than the rest of the market. And Pepe's down a percent, case in point, right? Now, if you look at the monthly uh, chart, you can see that we're still trading sideways, still consolidating and getting ready to go absolutely crazy when we get some green in the market. Okay, well, then you have to ask yourself, right? Make sure you watch to the end because it's very, very important, right? And smash the like if you understand all this. If not, then I'm gonna fill you in on a lot of new information because a lot of people watching these videos don't understand why these things happen. Why is the entire crypto, uh, the stock market, and crypto market, cryptocurrency market taking a dump? We're having some issues in the United States right now, right? Regardless of what you think, the United States is the leader when it comes to just, you know, us having good economic times or us having bad economic times. During the uh, great financial crisis in, you know, uh, in 2008, right? Um, we, our, the, the, the issues we had in the United States affected the entire world. That's what happened. You know, that's what happens when you're the world leader, right? Things like that happen. So what's the issue in the United States right now? Well, we can't agree on raising the debt ceiling or not when the, the cutoff date is Janu uh, excuse me, June 1st. So we have about a week until we can get together and you know come to some sort of resolution so we can get some clarity on what the hell is going to happen in the future. We're having the FOMC meeting, right? The Federal Reserve in halfway through June. And they're going to talk about whether they're raising interest rates or not. And I know it sounds boring and I know no one wants to pay attention to that. We all want to pay attention to meme coins going to the absolute moon. But this is why you have to hang out with me every day, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, right? So subscribe to the channel, like the video, all that good stuff. So you get filled in on all the news. So you understand when things are going to pump, when things are going to dump. Because here's the thing. So many meme coins launch and they pump regardless of what the market is doing or they dump regardless of what the market is doing. For example, Ben, BitBoy Crypto's cryptocurrency went to a $100 million market cap today, right? That's a lot, right? But what's the difference between these meme coins who a lot of them are gonna rug, let's be honest, right? And Pepe, Pepe is a more established cryptocurrency project. Right, insane market cap. You know, five almost six hundred million hit a one point five billion dollar market cap. Listen on all the top exchanges. It's gonna move with the rest of the market. So when we reach some sort of resolution on June first, right, which we will, and I believe the markets will recover. If we get some good news halfway through June, that's going to be the start of a bull run, right? In my opinion, the start of like the next bull run, right? Now. Why do I also think that cryptocurrency is going to start to run again? CZ, the CEO of Binance, made a very interesting post, and it all makes sense. Check this out, right? Check this out, Pepe Army. He says, CCTV, Chinese Central Television, just broadcasted crypto. It's a big deal. The Chinese-speaking communities are buzzing. Historically, coverages like these led to bull runs. Not saying past predicts future and not financial advice. So pretty much... Probably one of the most iconic figures in crypto, aside from maybe Vitalik um, and maybe Michael Saylor, CZ is saying, hey, China's starting to talk about cryptocurrency again. Okay, so if you guys don't remember, back in 2021, we had two tops of the cryptocurrency bull run. Two tops, right? 
Go to all time. You can see right here. This is 2021. Two tops. Why did crypto dump right here? Right? Why did crypto dump in May? Well, China announced that they're going to be banning cryptocurrency and cryptocurrency mining. So that's the reason why uh, the cryptocurrency dumped so drastically then. I mean, it pumped again, but obviously China is the the second largest superpower in the world next to the United States. They have a, you know, I mean, they have their own problems, right? But they're a miracle. If you think about Chinese history and the grand scheme of things, what they've come from to what they are now, it's pretty much a miracle, right? You have to keep that in mind. They're becoming more bullish on cryptocurrency or allowing their people to trade. Now, check this out. Justin, China launches, okay, this is not the one, but this is this is a metaverse thing too. That's actually a big deal. But I saw something else that was, okay, check this out. Hong Kong to allow retail investors to access licensed cryptocurrency exchanges. What's so important about that? Well, what's the biggest exchange by volume and pretty much is licensed everywhere? Binance.com, not Binance US. Remember, where is Pepe listed? On Binance.com, not Binance, Binance, Binance US, Binance US is down here. It's not there yet. I believe it's going to happen. But the biggest exchange by volume, you know, eight billion dollars, right, has listed Pepe. Well, I can imagine that as soon as Hong Kong allows retail investors to access licensed crypto exchanges, CZ, I think he's dual citizen from China and Canada. I can't imagine that Binance isn't going to be one of the first exchanges operating in China. So that's actually a big deal. I think all that stuff is very, very bullish news for uh, Pepe holders and cryptocurrency in general. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. What do you think of all this? Of course, no one knows the future. I don't have a crystal ball. You know, I can't tell you what's going to happen next week, but I'm looking at all the signs and it looks like Pepe is here to stay. And of course, we still have our Coinbase listing. I'm going to make a video about that probably later today, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. But I do want to talk about the interesting predicament that Coinbase is in and why it would be good for them to list Pepe sooner than later, in my opinion. But they may just wait for some sort of bull run. But I think exchanges are making exceptions for cryptocurrency listings because they need the volume to survive in the bear market. We'll see. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments down below. What do you think of my opinions? Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think I make sense? Remember, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will talk to you all very, very soon. Peace.